Finally stop sweating from the shit you put us through. <laughs> okay? All right. KO Artist Sports are here with the one and only Abner Mattis uh, here at uh, Robert Garcia's gym and in Riverside. We were just talking about it, but uh, you put us through a, a little bit of a work. It wasn't even that much, really, but I mean, some of us were sweating like pigs, man. But I appreciate that, number one. But two, kind of what was the idea behind kind of kind of giving us a taste of uh, your world, I guess? I think, look, we try to change up the, the usual, the same, you know, type of media workout where you guys are behind the cameras just watching us train. And, and that's that, getting the interview. Now I, I wanted to put you guys through what I go through, you know, the workout, you know, what we do. And it was just a taste, and I'm glad you guys got to, to do it. Uh, thank you. Thank you for doing it. And that means a lot to me because I, as well as you guys respect my, my, my sport and what we do, I respect what you guys go through. It's not easy, easy being in the media, uh, being behind, having to being pushed and wanting to get that interview uh, sometimes it's tough for you guys so it's just I guess a message to understanding you know what we both as, as, as a team because at the end of the day that's what we are you guys make us and we make you guys so that's the message we're trying to send definitely appreciate it man before that though you were beasting in here man you were going hard on the hand pads on the on the body pad that poor kid I, I don't know how I don't know how he's gonna pee later but <laughs> but uh, we'll have that up on the channel too but uh, you just really seem to like I, we talked about it earlier you're just the the everything's coming together it seems right on time your 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 physique I, I feel like is you're like thicker I, I I mean you're not bigger but you're thicker you're like stronger you know what I mean do, do you feel that yourself I feel that myself I feel <clears throat> I feel right you know uh, that's what I mean I feel in time I'm three weeks away I'm not too thin I'm not too fat I'm not too high on weight um, the energy levels are there, as you saw today. Uh, I'm still energetic. I'm still going. And sometimes you lose that. You know, if you overtrain yourself, if you're not eating well properly, and, and you don't give the, the, the right training sessions that your coach wants you to. And so I'm, I'm at a good time. I'm at a good moment of my career, of camp also. And we're three weeks away. The last week, I would just use it to, to cut weight. As we all fighters do, you know, no, there's no, you know, no lie on that, and and, and that's that's sad. But I'm 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 in a good place, and I'm happy. Three years ago, you guys fought mm -hmm. the first fight, um, and a lot's changed since then. Obviously, you got with Robert Garcia. He's taken his only loss to this point. Rematch, got the win. I obviously we talked about your changes and, and all the things you've done, but I kind of want to uh, your aspect watching him. <clears throat> Obviously, he took the loss, he, and then he got the rematch back. What do you see different in him? In Leo Santa Cruz, what do I see different in him? Uh, he's definitely a more mature f fighter um, when I first fought him. Um, he could change things up in the ring, as we saw when he first fought Frampton, and he lost, and he came back, and he got that win. I was surprised because when people asked me the first time, you know, how do you see the second fight going? I'm like, I think Francis is going to do the same thing. He's going to win. And because Leo, yeah, exactly. So uh, Leo surprised me. So uh, with that said, uh, I just um, I just know he's. I'm excited because he's a better fighter, you know. No one can say that, oh, he took a Leo Santa Cruz three years later, you know, when he was fading. No. <laughs> if anything, he's, he's a bit more of a beast, you know. He's more of a complete fighter. So I'm excited to um, to fight that style to fight that fighter you know and in myself changing you know uh, maturing as a fighter now with Robert Garcia becoming a better fighter so uh, we're, we're about the same Leo and myself so I'm excited to see two fighters at their moment um, you know fighting the best I, I was gonna say I mean you obviously come through a resurgence yourself with Robert Garcia not a lot of people gave you a lot of chance against Cuellar and you yeah. dominated that fight dropped him you were the smarter fighter clearly in the ring even when he was like you know kind of like banged his glove like let's go you're like nah nah <laughs> like, nah I'm not doing that today yeah like so I feel like it's it's and, and I think it's also a testament to maybe kind of how boxing fans you know what well, boxer takes a loss and now it's like oh well kind of you know discard him forget it. and and I think we need to get better at that yeah. as boxing fans because you take a loss that just makes you better and I feel you've gotten better from from those fights and I feel like kind of the same thing like exactly what you said about him I feel you're kind of in the same position you're like resurging you're right there like and, and it's this is a brand new fight Exactly, bro. It just if it sucks sometimes, you know, as me as a fighter, active fighter, as sometimes people just judge you from your losses and not from your wins and what you accomplished, and they they don't focus on you know uh, the grown the gr grown that you've done, uh, the growth that you've done, you know, throughout your career, and now I've, the changes I've made, you know, now with Robert Garcia. Uh, 
the fighters that I faced, you know, uh, Quayer, a guy nobody gave me a chance against, uh, beating him, and then the guy I last fought, you know, he was a tough, tough guy, guy, you know, yeah. 24 years old, he was 32, and one defeat, only the only one defeat against um, Mijares, a, a, a great, you know, world champion, uh, where a lot of people thought uh, uh, Gutierrez won, that he got robbed, and with 26 knockouts, I mean, he was younger, he determined fighter, and I beat him easy, I stopped him, I stopped him in 10th round, 10 rounds, so, I mean, I haven't taken any easy fights, but I, that just made me the, the be a better fighter. Do you feel, because you did have that Gutierrez fight, it was, a, it was a good fight, you KO'd him later in the rounds, do you feel that maybe the momentum is a little more on your side as far as, because Leo fought that night as well, but he fought, you know, maybe a little less competition, a bigger name just because the guy's been in with right. former world champions, but, you know, Gutierrez was a young, hungry guy who really kind of thought he was, was ready for it and you kind of turned him back. Do you feel you kind of have maybe more men, more momentum as far as like ring experience going into it, like just recently? I mean, there's no question about that. I could scream it out loud and say that's that's exactly what happened. You know, last our last fight, you know, I fought the better fighter and he fought a lesser fighter. I'm not taking anything away from him. He got the win. I got the win. That's it. Um, but I'm not, I'm not so much focused on that. But I mean, if you had to compare, there's no doubt. Um, and here we are, we're facing each other. Again, he's a complete fighter, Leo, Leo Santa Cruz, and myself, I'm a complete fighter. And so, let's get it on. Do, do you watch the first Frampton fight and, and take anything away from that at all, or you're just, you're your own guy? I have not watched it, bro. You haven't watched it? I have it? not watched it, no, man. I just, every fight, every single fight, if you go back and watch videos, and the question, every time they ask me, I don't watch videos, I, I go based on, you know, what, my coach tells me the sparring sessions, and of course I fought him already, so I know what somewhat how he fights, and I, um, and that's that. Um, so it works for you, like not watching, it's just never, never anything you've done. No, because if you think about it, uh, they get similar sparring sessions, uh, sparring partners. Um, they do about the same thing, and the game plan is once you get in the corner, Coach Abner, I want you to do this in this round, Abner, I do playing and the mind knowing that you know Leo's gonna do it too so you're, you're getting to school like that any coach comes back and sometimes during I'm hitting the bag he's watching a replay of a fight and it's like yeah Abner, you know what he's doing this and I don't have to do it because sometimes you know as a person as an athlete you take it too hard you put it in your mind and he's like okay he's gonna do this he's gonna do that and he might not do it you know so um, too much information yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> whatever coach tells me I do that's it well, tell the fans, man, where they can follow you. Obviously, the fight's on Showtime June 9th, and just kind of follow you, see all the, the preparation going into it. Look, follow me at Abner Morris, Instagram, Instagram at Abner Morris, uh, Twitter, Abner Morris, uh, Facebook. Um, tune in, man. June 9th, do not miss it on Showtime. And if you live in L.A., you got to come down. Staples Center, you got to come down, man. It's going to be one for the books. It's going to be a hell of a fight. You cannot miss it. You can't, you're going to regret it if you don't. Team Midas. Uh, it's going to be hell of a fight. Leo Santa Cruz, all the best. All right, there you guys have it. June 9th, tune in Showtime. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate Thank you, brother. You Thank you, man.